What's up guys, Larsa here. So I was watching Tony over his channel, Cassette Comeback, and uh, gave me a bit of an idea. I thought, hmm, why not get some of my old tapes out and show them? So this is what I'm going to do. So starting off with this one, I've got quite a few tapes. I've got quite a few tapes, really. I've got a lot, you know what I mean? It's just endless. But um, starting off with this one here, TDK SA19. See, it's got H-Town on there. This one's not in bad nick. I've just taken them randomly. I've just gone through a box, picked out some different makes and just thought I'd show you. Nice sounding tape. Ray grooves on that one. And then that's, I like that. I think this, this is a normal, this very normal, very one, but this this was good. This is sounded all right. Depending on the machine you got and the setup, this was sounded very good. I was quite happy with that tapes. Obviously not up to the standard of TDK, but passable. Had good results with these. Sony with the slide case. Yeah, this was good as well. These ones, I think this, this is a very good one. Yeah, normal position, very. I think this is tapes on an on an Iowa cassette deck. Can't remember the model number. 90s job. But it came out all right. It, it was, I was happy with these. No idea. Anybody knows who makes these tapes? Put a comment down below. I've, I've, I can't, I can't make it. It just says CD2 on there. I'm not sure. Don't know. No. At a loss. If you let, if you know, let me know. Hmm. Memorix. What's on here? The Smiths, hat full of hollow. Okay. Don't know how I got this one. Somebody probably gave it to me or something, or I've already and didn't give it back. That's probably most likely. But I like the Smiths anyway. Not a bad sounding tape, funny enough. I mean, you, you think, looking at the shell, cheapo job, but this these were all right. I was quite impressed with these. Not sure what you think, Tony, but yeah, these were, these were good. So that's same one again. This one's got Burning Spear on there. One of my favourite bands of all time. And then Steel Pulse, yes, my friends from down the road. Yep. Excellent. the state of this case wow but well, these cake these tapes i've seen the rounds trust me they've been all over the place work cars boom boxes personal uh, personal stereos you name it parties so, the shower's all right but the case is battered i think these have even been abroad no idea what's on this one. I'll just stick that in the deck and give it a whirl. Max, so you asked the Linux wrapper? Not sure what this is worth, if anything. Well, it's got to be, got to be worth a few quid, obviously, but. Yep. Don't know how long I've had this one. I've got a few of these that's still in their wrappers, so. One for keeps. Maxal UR. Two pack.
Another fake one, normal position. Yeah, Max are all right. I wasn't too heavily into the bias and all the rest of it, you know. I mean, Tony's an expert in all that sort of stuff. I just stopped them in. If they stand all right on my uh, my Walkman or in the car, I thought, yeah, that'll do. Excel UD290. This one's got Montel Jordan on there. Some of these tapes I haven't really listened to in years and years and years. I should change that. I don't know why I stopped listening to tape. Nice design. This generic BBC one. I have no idea who makes this. Tony, if you know if anybody else knows who made, who made these shells, I haven't got the case. So I don't even know what's on this one. BBC. Okay. That's RX100. Reservations for two. Okay, some old time rag around there as well. Excellent, good. Various on and reggae from Choice. Oh, Choice. Illegal recordings. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Yeah, Choice FM. Long defunct now Galaxy or whatever it's called. Capital, I have no idea, but. D90 Yeah, a good friend of mine gave me this one. He recorded this for me. This is a good tape. I've got some I remember um, when I worked at a certain car plant night shift. This one got me through the night, believe me. This one, this one here, this tape, this Fuji, this is the first ever tape I bought. When I first purchased my um, boombox, an Itachi TRK8190E, this is the first tape I bought with it. And a lot of a lot of the tapes I have in my position were recorded on that actual machine. I'll put an image up on, on screen. It's battered. I mean, look, <laughs> it really is. Look, it's that's is that glue or is that still? I've, I've no idea, but this is seen the rounds truly. I don't even think I can play this one anymore. That's that's this is it's, I mean, I, I have I have a video on my channel of the song which I recorded, I'll put a link in the description. That is that is battered. No Memorex case. Well, I have no words. Mr. Audio Superferric CF90. I'm at a loss. I don't even remember having this or buying this. No idea where I bought it from. Somebody gave it to me, whatever. I just don't know. I have, I've got about three of these. Shall I open it? Yeah, why not? Let's open it. See what this thing looks like. I mean, it's going to give me hell to open this thing. I can just feel it. No tear off strip or nothing like that. It's just. Yep, yeah, gonna pause the camera and I'll come back.
there. Okay. Hmm. Well, Mr. Ord. <laughs> I must have lost. Anybody knows who made these? Let me know. Normal bias. Super ferric. Mm. I wonder how these things sound. Well, there's a novelty for you. No case. Generic 3M. Don't know nothing about these either. Someone just recorded the BBC on this one. Again. Maxim. Nope. <laughs> no idea. A Sony, but this time a chrome position. Just the same as the earlier Sony normal position. But notice the difference. 90 74 45 minutes per side 37 minutes per side I have never seen the 37 minutes per side tape before I think it's the only one I've got actually How odd Why would they make a tape with only 37 I know you got 60 minutes 90 and then 120 But 74 Very odd I come to my absolute favorite tapes ever. I absolutely love these tapes. TDK SA. Look at the state of this one. This has been, oh. This is one that I would have played a lot. Look at that. The shell sleeve's gone. Shell label, sorry, that's gone. I would have played this tape to death. I'm not sure what's on it, can't remember, but it's, the condition I meet with the cellar tape and everything with one would suggest that I would have played and played and played this one. This would have been on my travels, in my walkmans, in my car, at work, on holiday. If these tapes could speak, they'd tell you some stories I can tell you. Love them. If you can pick up some of these, I doubt if you will, but if ever you get a hold of any of these, you will not be disappointed with the quality. The recordings of these are absolutely fantastic. And if you really tweak them with the bias, which I know not much about, as I admit to, you will be amazed. They sound way better than any MP3 I've ever heard. Excellent. Here's another one. See, recorded again in 1982. Recorded on the Itachi boombox. JBC amp with a DIN cable from a Sansui SR222 turntable. The one which I use in my, um, still got it from all those years, which I use, it took my channel, my early videos were uploaded, you'll see the turntable. Wow. Superb, superb cassettes. Next we have TDK MA90. Mm. I mean, this is the only one I've got, actually. Don Carlos is on this one. Wow. This is a metal tape. Oh, yeah, MA9, so duh. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the only TDK metal I've got. Wasn't too keen on the metal tapes actually. I found them a little harsh, but that was probably just me not being able to get the best out of them. But yeah, look at the state of this case. Another one, absolutely battered. Again, another one I would have played a lot, like, as you can see. This one sounded good as well. 
chrome. Ninety-eight Araga and various. Okay, natural woman haptics. Hmm. There's another one I'll have to play. Some gems on there. That's. I think after TDK, I think my favourite tapes again with that. I, I, I really had some good results with that. I, I really do like that. The Last Board Leader, the classic album. Excel 2S No idea what's on this one What was it with me with no labels? I must have had a reason for not labelling these cassettes but it seems odd to me all these years later but still Nice shell design, yeah I like that CDK seeding too. When the CD revolution kicked in, had all these different tapes labeling them as fit for CD you know, good for CD or you know, whatever, but I can tell a blind bit of difference between a lot of them. They all sound the same to me, but then again, that was probably me again, as I was saying earlier on. That's a beer ASF in the wrong case. Why have I done that? I hate that. Oh, my sticker to keeping things together. Where is the original case for this one then? Another one made for CD. Chrome position. Again, no idea what's on it. <laughs> that must have been something really wrong with me at the time. What on earth is this? Tapex. Well, that's got to be a normal, yeah. Deco. Yeah, Deco ranks, okay, that's one of the uh, Raider DJs. Must have got this one stuck to a bag of sugar or something, I don't know. Maxa UD2. 1000 volts of Holt, my mum's favourite. I love this shell design. Yep, I really do like these. That's probably one of my one of the best ones ever. Yeah, well done, Maxwell. Good. And Mitsubishi. The only Mitsubishi tape I've got. Lyndon David Hall. The late, great Lyndon David Hall. Let's see. I'm assuming this, this is a normal position. And last of all, a Maxar XL290, Jaheem, still ghetto. But this is probably one of the latest, last tapes I ever bought. I remember the advert for that, yeah. Jaheem, I wonder what happened to him. Right, that's it. So if you know any more information about some of the uh, sets I showed, if you know, just just a link in the bottom. Thanks for watching, guys.